Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be updating your Mac, so let's get started. On the top left hand side of our screen, we're going to see the Apple logo, tap on it, you're going to see System Preferences and the App Store. Before we used to do all our updates under the App Store, now some of them are under System Preferences, such as this one for Mac OS. So let's just tap on System Preferences. Once we do so, you're going to see on the left hand side, it's going to say Software Update. If you tap there, you're going to see this. This is only 4 gigs, fairly small. Again, it's up to your internet speed, how long this takes to download, but the installation process and everything shouldn't take you guys more than 30 minutes. Now, yes, with older Macs, it could take longer. Plus, if your internet speed's not the best, well, this can take forever. If for any reason, this is not charging up, so it's not showing you anything. Well, down here below, you're gonna notice it says, automatically keep my Mac up to date. Just put a check mark there and then take it off, go into advanced settings and just uh, refresh things that way by going into it and out. So again, you just press on advanced settings. This is gonna pop up. You can take off a check mark, put it back on. It doesn't really matter. Press okay. It's gonna refresh and then you should see the latest thing. Now, if you still don't see it, just restart your Mac. And even after that, you still don't see any updates here. Well, there's one more way. Again, we're gonna go to the Apple logo on the top left-hand side and then into your app store, the third option. In your app store, you're gonna go into search on the top left-hand side. From here, you're just gonna type this in press enter and here we go here it is so you can go on and tap on view it's gonna take you here you can press on get and then it's just gonna pretty much refresh again your system preferences so it's gonna find that for you you can go on and press on download so right now that's exactly what we're gonna do we're just gonna tap on download and here we go Right now, at this point, you could just leave your Mac to be and it will just install the update by itself. Now, before you do this, I always recommend making a backup of your Mac, but that's up to you. If you want to keep your files safe, always, always make that backup using Time Machine. Now, Time Machine is something that's pre-built into your Mac. I already have a video about that, but I suggest doing that just in case something goes wrong, you don't wanna lose your files. Do not ever update your Mac if you're in the middle of a project or anything big. And also never update your Mac unless you know for a fact that the software that you're currently using will be compatible with the latest Mac OS because not all software is. For example, before when I used to use Canon, well, their software was never up to date. I would have to wait months until their software got up to date and then I could update my Mac OS. So once again, before updating, just make sure everything's compatible, then go ahead, make your backup and update. And the backup is just in case something goes wrong, you have that backup. All right, so once it's done downloading, you're gonna see this, but also right down here in your system, you should see something like this, where it says upgrade now. So really, no matter if you guys see this right here, where you can just press on upgrade now, or if you see this window instead, or both of them at the same time, you can just go on into continue, you have to agree. Once again, we have to agree. Now what you see might say a different name than mine. It's the same thing. Just press continue on. Put in your code if you have one, unlock. And there we go. We can just leave our Mac to be and it's gonna install it. Again, don't be working on any projects, anything like that. Just let your Mac be and everything should go fine. All right, so after you should see something like so. Just click on restart. You're going to see a black screen and an Apple logo plus a loading bar. So as mentioned, you would see an Apple logo, a loading bar. And just after a few minutes, your Mac will just restart. And then it's just going to log you right in. So you will see that your wallpaper just changed. So you can change it back to whatever you like. And once again, just do double check. Go on the top left hand side of your screen. Apple logo, the system settings, scroll down to general. Once you see general, you're going to see your second option, software update, and you should see that you're all up to date. That would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.